Welcome back to Living 808. Did you know that falls are the leading cause of fatal injury among older adults? It's shocking and it's totally preventable. And that's what the Department of Health wants people to know that there are things that can be done to reduce their risk or their chances of falling. We are learning more about that today. We are here at Ala Moana Beach Park. We're chatting with Stan Michaels, who is the Senior Fall Prevention Specialist for the Department of Health. And today we're talking about their Fall Prevention Awareness Campaign. Hello, Stan. Hi, Trina. Listen, uh, I'm excited to mention it because the campaign is, is all about awareness. Falls is serious in the state. Our Kapuna take a header way too often, even though we're the lowest in frequency in the entire nation, thanks to a lot of hard work, we still average one kapuna almost every hour is transported by an ambulance to an emergency room just for a fall injury. Now, they can't even count the amount of pain and suffering associated with that. And the impact on our hospitals is huge because that totals almost $130 million a year. That's $356,000 per day. Now, that's major impact on our hospitals. And again, the pain and suffering is huge. Sure. Not just for them, but their families as well, right? Yeah. Um, so tell me about that campaign and how it's going to, you know, help with this issue. Well, we're excited about that. The entire key is awareness, trying to make Kapuna and their loved ones aware of there is something to do. Falls are not inevitable just because you age. It's a preventable injury. So we have 240 public service announcements that go on on three networks. We have two wonderful educational videos that run on public access television, Olelo. We have 55 locations all over the state, Times, Safeway, uh, Foodland, where you can go in for free and get your medications reviewed and get a free balance test to find out if you're at risk for a fall. There's 36 locations statewide where people can go and get Tai Chi, the number one modality. It's considered by CDC the finest fall prevention awareness exercise there is. Wow, yeah, I've definitely heard lots of great things about Tai Chi. And uh, speaking of Tai Chi, Randall Lau is actually here, and he's a Tai Chi instructor, so why don't we check in with him? Terrific. Randall, hi. Hi, Trini. Nice Thanks. to meet you. Okay, so you have been a Tai Chi instructor since the mid-90s, yes. but over the last few years, you've really focused on uh, Tai Chi for fall prevention. Yes. Okay, so what does that mean? How does it differ from regular Tai Chi? Oh, okay. So tradition, uh, Tai Chi traditionally is a martial art, so people learn it for fighting, for strength, um, those kinds of things, and it's eventually the health benefit has come out. What Dr. Paul Lam has done is he's created a Tai Chi for Health Institute, and he started with the problem of fall prevention, an issue of fall prevention and arthritis. So he's targeting seniors. Um, he also made sure that all the protocols, all the safety protocols are there. For instance, uh, for us to be certified, we have to understand that seniors with, with these kind of issues, we can't take longer steps. Okay, so you're, so you're adjusting it. You're, you're asking yes. to fit what their levels are. Okay, can you teach me some, sure. some Tai Chi moves for fall prevention? Okay, so um, we always start off with some warm up. So in the, in the beginning, it's uh, you want to stand nice and straight and you want to stretch all the muscles but relax. And it takes a while. So we, we talk about gathering up the chi, bringing it up very gently, bringing it in and you're inhaling and you drop your shoulder blades down and you exhale and you gently roll your neck down to gently relax the muscles. So that's the first move. And for every move we have two. So after we do the neck, we do the spine. Um, the spine has a lot of joints, so we want to put one hand up and one hand down. And I like to focus it right around the center. We keep the elbows bent. Uh, the elbows are in front of the waist. And right in that center line, and you take a nice deep breath and stretch your body up and let it twist a little bit to the side, relaxing. And then exhale and come down. You want the palms to brush against each other. And exchange side, take a deep breath, expand the stomach. Let the stomach expand, let the back expand, relax. Randall, thank you so much. We can keep going. We're almost out of time, but we, why don't we keep going? And um, if people want more information on this, where can they get more information? Uh, they can call me directly. I'll give you my number, my website. They can contact Stan's office. Stan has all the information, and there's a lot of Tai Chi for Health instructors all over the state. Great. Um, and of course, the Department of Health has a great website. So we'll yes. put all of that on our website. Uh, thank you so much. But let's continue with this movie. I'm feeling good. Right. So, <laughs> so we want to put the hands up and...
Nice and windy, cool day, stretching <laughs> out, Tai Chi, awesome. But you know what? Just in the brief amount of Tai Chi that I did, you just it just relaxes you, yeah. too. You know, there's so many health benefits. It's one thing I've never done, and so really? that's cool. Oh, yeah. well, I can tell you. I mean, you know, I think for people our age, it's not that hard to do, but mm -hmm. it just it kind of centers you. And if it's something that you can start when you're younger, you'll be that much more, I think, ahead, right, for awesome. when you're older. And yeah, a little more Valentine. chill, too, because it probably just... Lazy back a little Calms bit. Calms you down. Good yes. stuff. All right, here's something everyone's going to love for.